could suppose what together we'll find with every pair of shoes that we try. We'll have a new adventure, you and I. Where will my feet take me today? Nobody knows for sure. your PJs, your toothbrush, and a change of clothes. You're all ready to go. I know how excited you are about your first sleepover. You're going to have lots of fun. I've changed my mind. I don't want to go anymore. Change your mind? But why? What if I miss my mom and dad? No, you might miss them a little bit, Franny. But it's only overnight. You'll see them the next morning. But who's going to read me my bedtime story? And kiss me goodnight. Can't I stay here with you, Grandpa? A customer! Welcome to Fantuzzi Shoe Repair. What can we do for you on this fine day? I've been traveling on my world tour and I've rock and rolled the soles right off my favorite shoes. Hmm, <laughs> they do look a little worse for the wear, but don't worry. I'll have them tuned up by Friday. Can you put these in the fix-it box, Franny? Okie dokie, Grandpa. Into the fix-it box they go. <laughs> <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? tonight. I'm Jesse, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Jesse. This is a big concert hall. Someone really famous must be singing here tonight. Do you know who it is? Come with me. I'll show you. <gasps> it's you. You're right. It is me. I'm performing here tonight. Jeepers! I've never met a famous singer before. I've never met a Franny before. I was just about to rehearse. Would you like to stay and listen? Would I? That would be fantastic! I'm so happy, happy as can be. Just you look at me. And I'm sure you'll see Happy, happy as can be Cheapers, oh. for a song called I'm So Happy, you don't seem very happy. I'm fine. It's nothing. I've, I've just got to save my voice for tonight. I'm going back to my bus now. Would you like to come? Sure. This is it! Zowie! This whole bus is just for you? I share it with my older sister. Come on, I'll show you the inside. <laughs> Great Galopi! A whole bus just for you and your sister to drive around in! It's not just to drive in. We eat and sleep here too. It's my home away from home while I'm on tour. That must be fun -erific. I know it sounds cool to live in a bus, but... Well, this is my very first tour, and it's great to have my older sister with me, but... I miss my mom and dad and my friends. Aww. I'm really homesick. Is all this stuff from your room at home? Uh-huh. I 
think I know a way to make you feel better, Jesse. Maybe if we decorate the bus to look more like your room at home, you'll feel more at home. I guess we could try. Come on, the decorating duo. That's us, has work to do. <laughs> What do you think? It's wonderful. It reminds me of my room at home. I really do feel less homesick. Thanks, Franny. <laughs> Hi, Jessie. It's time for a dress rehearsal. Okay. Shannon, this is my new friend, Franny. Hi, Franny. Hi, Shannon. Would you like to stay and see the dress rehearsal, Franny? Absolutely. Great, come on. I'm so happy, happy as can be. Just you look at me, and I'm sure you'll see. Someone happy, happy as can be. Smile with me and you can... She stopped singing. I hope she's okay. It's no use. I wrote I'm so happy about being with my mom and dad. Now, every time I sing it, I feel so homesick I want to cry. We might as well cancel the concert. fans will be sad if you cancel your concert. I know, but this is the first time I've ever performed without my mom and dad in the audience. I'm just too homesick to sing. Special delivery! A package came for you, Jesse. Thanks. I'll look at it later. I think you'll want to see this. It's from your biggest fan. My biggest fan? Who's that? It's from Mom! <laughs> my doll collection! My mom buys me dolls whenever she travels on business. This one's from Japan. She got me this one when she went to France. And this one is new! A cowgirl doll! They're fantastic, Jessie! Hmm, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I know a way to make Jessie feel less homesick when she sings on stage. everyone. But I know they're thinking of me, even if they're not right here with me. You know, this tour may turn out to be lots of fun after all. <laughs> I think the audience wants you back up for an encore. And my grandpa is waiting for me back at the shoe shop. I better go now. Bye, Franny. Thanks for everything. <laughs> A picture like the one of Jesse. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoe box.
a sleepover at Lori's, Grandpa. You are? That's good. I just need one more thing. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm bringing Briona to help me feel at home, like Jessie did. Jessie? Who's Jessie? She's a singing star. She was homesick on tour, but she learned that things from home could make her feel at home. If Briona comes along, I'll feel right at home on my sleepover. I'm sure you will. Come on, Grandpa. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get going. Okie dokie, Franny. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? Pack your favorite snack, apple and cinnamon rolls. Thanks, Grandpa. Pickle is so lucky. Pickle? Why? Because he doesn't have to go to school. Oh, but I thought you liked going to school. I like going to my old school, but now I have to go to a new school, and I don't want to go at all. Remember when you went to your first swimming class? You didn't want to go then either. And now you can swim like a little pickle. I wish I could stay here with you and Pickle. Why don't you pack up your knapsack? I have some work to finish up before we go. Okay, Franny? <sighs> okay, Grandpa. <laughs> All my special treasures are in here. I remember this maple leaf. I got it when I met Moet the Moose. Moet really wanted to sing with the loons, but at first, the loons didn't want Moet to sing with them. You have a loud voice, Moet. You try calling Lulu. Ooh, yeah. I do have a loud voice, don't I? Lulu! Lulu! Over here! Over here! It's Lulu! She found her way back! It was Moet. He was calling you. That was Moet? But his voice sounds funny when he sings. Only when he tries to sing like you. Moet, maybe you were trying to sing too high. Really? Yes. You have a low, moosey voice, not a high, loony voice. Can you give Moet one more chance? Sure. Go on, Moet. Sing. You're a musical moose after all, Moet. I am? I am, aren't I? That was fantastic. Moet was the most musical moose I ever met. It sure was fun meeting him and those loony loons. Hmm. <laughs> a pom pom. <laughs> I found it the day I met that little dog named Lulu. All she wanted to do was play, play, play. I'll play with you, Lulu. You will? Really? Sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. Play, play, play. How I love to play. You don't, perhaps, have a ball with you, do you? You know, round, bouncy, good for chasing and for chewing. No, I don't. But, hey, isn't that a ball? Where? Where? <laughs> oh, no! 
That's not a ball. That's a pom pom from my mistress's hat. Well, it looks like a ball. And it throws like a ball. Come on, let's play. No, no, I should not. I must not. I'm not supposed to play ball inside. But I will. Here, throw me the pom pom. <laughs> nice one, Lulu. You sure know how to play. Oh, I love to play, especially with a nice round. <laughs> Oh. oh no! I have broken the vase of the bamboo. Oh. I'm sorry, Lulu. It was my fault. We shouldn't have played ball inside. Maybe we can glue it back together. <gasps> That's it, Frenny. You are a genius. We will glue the vase back together. That Lulu, she was one funny dog. We couldn't glue the vase back together, but it turned out okay in the end. Lulu's mistress said Lulu needed more walks, and she took her to play in the park. Lulu sure was happy about that. Hmm, what else is in here? A paper snowflake, like the one I made when I met Johnny in Jamaica. He'd never seen snow and he really wanted to. Lucky for him, he met me. Franny Fan Tootsie. Using coconut flakes to show him what snow was like was a fantastic idea, if I do say so myself. <laughs> okay, good. Now stand here and close your eyes. <laughs> here we go. Ready? Open your eyes, Johnny. Ready, Freddy. Whoopee! It's snowing! It's snowing! <laughs> Franny, I didn't know snow tasted so yum, yum, yummy. Look! Now it looks like a real snowman. You did it, Franny Fantozzi! You showed me snow! This has been so much fun! How can I thank you? I know. Would you like to ride on my surfboard? I'd love to, but I have to get going now. My grandpa would be wondering where I am. Well, thanks again for cooling me down. Come back soon, okay? Bye, Franny. Goodbye, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny sure loved the snow, and I sure loved meeting him. I had lots of fun in the sun, showing Johnny what snow was like. Penguin feather, like the one I found when I met Freddy the Yeti. Poor Freddy. He was lonely because there was only one of him, and the penguins thought he was scary. Well, I guess he was kind of scary at first. We'll be safe in here until the storm ends. Let's sit over there. It's cozy here, and so soft. It's the Yeti, and it's probably gonna gobble us up. No, I won't. Honest. You won't? Uh-uh. Everyone thinks I'm mean and scary, but I'm not. I'm really a nice guy. If you're so nice, why is everyone so scared of you? I don't know. When I see someone, I always say hello, and then they run away. Hmm. How do you say hello? <laughs> like that? That's not a very good way to say hello. It's not? No. Try saying hello quietly and shake hands, like this. I'm Franny. Pleased to meet you. Now you try it. 
Hello, I'm Freddy the Yeti. Pleased to meet you. Try not to shake so hard. Very good. Freddy and the penguins became good friends, so he wasn't lonely anymore. Well, enough dilly-dallying. I better get ready. I don't want to be late for my new school. I'm ready to go, Grandpa. I see you're feeling better about going to your new school. I met Lulu and Johnny and Mo at the Moose, and I even taught Freddy the Yeti how to say hello, so he didn't scare anyone. You did? That's good. When I get to my new school, I can make more new friends. You know what, Grandpa? What's that, Franny? I'm good at making new friends. <laughs> you sure are. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs>